Hi everyone, Miss Patsy here at Castile Innovation Lab and today we're going to be in the fourth grade science book called Energy, Investigation 1, Part 2, Conductors and Circuits. And the question is, what matters conduct electricity? So definitions of a conductor of elect, um, electricity is a material or device that transmits electricity. A circuit is what we're going to create today is a complete or closed path around which an electric current can flow. So today we're going to make a conductor detector. And this is, it's basically, this is the board we have, the um, blue board here. And it has a switch here and a motor that I'm gonna place here and a battery, a D cell battery there. And the switch will control whether or not the circuit is open or closed. So let's get started. First, we're going to put in our D cell battery. Stick that in there. And this is our motor. I put a little piece of tape on it so we can tell when it's spinning. I'm gonna pop that into our board, like so. And I'm gonna connect one of the wires from the motor to the switch here and tighten that down. And I'm gonna attach the other wire to our D cell battery there. Then I'm gonna take one of the um, 20 gauge wires. Now remember um, when you prepare wires, they you have to cut off the plastic insulation at the end so that the wire is exposed. And I will stick one end into the D cell battery coil and the other end into uh, onto our switch. Now, when the switch is closed, it is a closed circuit, so the motor will spin. But if the switch is open, it, it opens that circuit so there's no electricity flowing through. Closed, open. So let me go ahead and screw this. closed, open. So today we're building a conductor detector. And basically all we're looking for is um, something to close the circuit. So this, uh, we could use the switch to close the circuit or we could use um, another item to close the cir circuit. Um, and what we're going to figure out is what conducts electricity and what doesn't. Now, I have a bag of test items. Here. And it, it comes with aluminum foil, aluminum nails, black rocks, brass rings, cardboard, copper foil, paper fasteners, plastic chips, plastic straws, river rocks, rubber bands, sponges, steel nails, steel paper clips, steel screens, steel screws, steel washers, wood sticks, and wool yarn. And we'll be able to figure out what conducts electricity and what doesn't. Let's start with this. It's a steel washer. So if I touch one end to the one end of the switch and the other end to the other end of the switch, it closes the circuit. So electricity can flow through the washer and turn the motor on. Um, I made, I also made a conductor detector with our snap circuits. You can do exactly the same thing. Let's try, let's try cardboard. 
Cardboard does not conduct electricity. Let's try this copper foil. Copper foil does conduct electricity. Let's try aluminum, aluminum foil. This does conduct electricity. Let's try this wire mesh. And that does conduct electricity. Let's try the popsicle stick. Doesn't work there. And it doesn't work there. Let's try the rubber band. Doesn't work there. Doesn't work there. Let's try this brass ring. Let's try this plastic spongy stuff. Nope. Let's try the paper clip. Now, do you guys see a trend here? of what works and what doesn't work. Let's try a rock. All right, so maybe next we'll try um, this little plastic chip. Doesn't work there. And it doesn't work there. Let's try a straw. So pretty much um, anything that needs to work as a conductor needs to have metal in it. Let's try this one. Yeah. Except water, water is a, a big conductor of electricity and so are um, our bodies. Our body is made of mostly water. So whenever we use electricity, we have to be very careful. We have to, whenever, um, because we will conduct electricity, that's why we get shocked a lot. If you rub your feet on the carpet and you touch somebody, um, that's conducting electricity. And um, so we need to be careful when we play with electricity. So in conclusion, pretty much, um, we need something metallic um, to be a good conductor of electricity, but there's a lot of things that um, um, we could play with. And it's a pretty cool experiment. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.